Ah, oh, fuck my life. So I was in a good mood. I was in a very, very good mood. And then I woke up and I saw this. Your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man comes to Marvel's Avengers. Exclusively on the PlayStation. <gasps> Come on, man. Now it looks like I got to go out and get the PlayStation 4 version of the game. Which, you know, luckily for me, I own a PlayStation 4. But still, man. It's like I really wanted to get this game on PC. I really wanted to play this game on PC. And now in order to play my favorite character, Spider-Man, I have to play it on the PlayStation 4. Oh, fuck my life. Yeah, apparently, you know, a lot of people feel the same way I feel right now. It's like, Square Enix Avengers game is getting PlayStation exclusive Spider-Man character, and that sucks, and this is coming from The Verge. So a lot of people are really starting to, a lot of people feel the way I feel. You know, I'm so tired of this content exclusive type shit, man, when it comes to these third-party games. You know, like, I remember back in the day, Soul Calibur 2, Soul Calibur 3, you know, they had, you know, exclusive content, but each system got an exclusive character, and it was a fighting game. It wasn't like those characters really made that much of a difference throughout the course of the game. It was like, hey, you want to play a Yoda? You want to play a Darth Vader? Hey, what about Link? Spawn? Hiachi? They were just characters in a fighting game. It didn't really matter at the end of the day. One thing fans kept asking, when when this game was announced oh man spider-man gonna be in this game is it gonna be connected to the spider-man game on the playstation like is it in the same universe is spider-man in this game hey spider-man in this game jimmy is spider-man in this game yeah he is on the fucking playstation but yeah so so it kind of bothered me so now that kind of forces my hand as a consumer to purchase the playstation like it's great for playstation don't get me wrong like, like business wise this makes all the sense in the world as, as a a business sony did nothing wrong this but, but as a consumer this fucking sucks donkey nuts like as a consumer this sucks because now it forces my hand to purchase it on the sony playstation 4 rather than get it on the pc that i originally wanted to get it for which kind of sucks ass now the, the next important thing is with this being uh, exclusive to the PlayStation, does that mean that Spider-Man really doesn't have any story in the in the game? He's basically just a playable character. So in all honesty now, is that what this means? Does this mean that Spider-Man really not going to have much of a story arc in this game? That is he just going to be a playable character? Because how are you going to be able to have him in the PlayStation version, but not in the PC or Xbox version? So, I don't know. A lot of questions. We're going to have to wait until we see the state of play, see if they uh, show more information on that. But I'm not going to lie, guys. This kind of bums me out a little bit just as a consumer. I think we're getting to the point in life where games, on, especially third-party games that are on all the consoles, I, I really don't like the idea of exclusive content of something of that magnitude. And I know a lot of people are like, well, Rob, Sony owns the rights to Spider-Man. No, they don't. <laughs> They own the rights to the movies. The movies. Sony only owns the rights to the live action film. Marvel owns the rights to the comics, the toys, the action figures, which is the toys, which is redundant when I just said that. The video games, all types of merchandise. So Disney owns that, right? Marvel Studios, which is owned by Disney, owns that. So this is a deal between Disney Marvel, Square Enix, and Sony. This is the deal that they did. Meanwhile, Microsoft is just sitting over there going, we weren't even asked to be brought to the table. You know? So, yes. Um, for anyone who actually thinks that th this is because of the Sony rights, the Sony rights only include the movies. That's the reason why Spider-Man was in Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 on the Nintendo Switch. Again, Sony only owns the rights to the films, people. Look it up. Look it up. Anyway, guys, um, this kind of sucks for me. It really does. Um, I was really, 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 really wanting to get this on one console, and now it forces my hand to get it on a whole other console. So, anyway, guys, that's sort of my thoughts on this. Um, I'm not happy with it, but as a business model... I look at Sony and I'm like, well, it makes sense for what they're trying to do. It's a very smart business decision. It just kind of sucks for us as the consumer. But I want to know what you guys think. Be sure to leave your comments in the comment box below. Hit that like button. Subscribe. Until next time, as always, I'm Robert Storms, 
and that's my opinion.